I think this is a message to our leaders. Um, for me, I think we should not uh, put everything on the president. You know, the governor of this county is doing a good job. So we need all our leaders to rise up and to take the very positions that they have because it's these same people who elected them. And whether they elected them or not, they're the ones who have the power and they're in that leadership position. So uh, my message to the young people is, like what we've done today, let's continue reaching out to our leaders and not just leaders in government. Uh, the leader of Swahili Port is not in government. Uh, he's somebody who is supporting the community. So our community leaders and the leaders within our youth networks, because now we have leaders within various youth networks, the National Youth Council, various private partners. So uh, let's keep reaching out to our leaders and to other young people around us because as young people, I believe where the difference will come in is through our networks. Um, there is a big gap in terms of information. So, uh, for example, our president shared that there's the National Employment Authority site where there are so many job applications that are there. But before he himself said it, nobody else had said it. It wasn't known. So there's a lot of information happen there's a, and there's a lot of things happening, but young people are not aware of that information. And information is power, especially in this day and age. So what I'm trying to do is to bring this connection and to let young people know, and I do this heavily through my social media platforms, to let young people know this is what is happening, um, this is how you can get connected, but it's up to you to put your effort. <laughs>